Hey, this is Lisa from Cleos Games, and thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be starting the Krista T from the book Knitting Lingerie Style by Joe McGowan Michael. The book's from 2007, so I'm not worried about finding the yarn that it was done in or meeting the gauge. I'm going to adjust the pattern to meet my gauge. So, of course, I had to swatch and block my swatch. I already knew what measurements I was going for because I had done my schematic and just had my measurements on it. But I like to visualize my finished garments. So I printed out my fashion figure from mybodymodel.com and I just then draw the finished garment on my little croquis. That's what they're called, the little fashion figures. They're called croquis. And I'm not affiliated with my body model, but I'm so happy that you know, having the little croquis that I can just print out, it gives me a head start on my sketch because, um, as you can see, I'm not really an, an artist and it would take me so much longer <laughs> to actually complete the sketch if I had to start from scratch every time. So give it a shot. I think you're going to like it. And I think visualizing yourself styled the way you normally style yourself in a garment you're going to make is like the best thing you can do to really get a picture of what it's going to look like on you rather than being focused on what it looks like on the model. When I finished my swatches and I measured them, I realized that my gauge was actually smaller than the gauge of the original. So I had to do a little bit of rejiggering to get this yarn to work. I love the fabric. It was soft and drapey, just like I wanted it to be. So I didn't want to change my fabric or ch change my yarn, I mean, or change my needle size. Instead, I decided to change the number of stitches that I would work with. And I decided to add a little detail, a little bit of neutral color pop at the hem, at the edges of the garment. So I'm adding those to my swatch, to my sketch now. My initial plan was to make the top slightly more A-line, but as I was going through my numbers, I realized the length would not be so long that it needed to flare for my hips. It's gonna stop at the high hip. So I just went ahead and changed it on my schematic so I'd have the right numbers to do the math with. The new measurement I'm trying to achieve is 26.85 inches. And I know that my gauge is 4.505 inch stitches per inch. So I'm gonna multiply those two and I'm gonna end up with 120.9592 as the result. So that's the number of stitches I'm gonna cast on to get this measurement. But you know, I can't cast on 0.9592 stitches. So I'm gonna round that up to 20 to 121. So the way the numbers worked out, I'm going to have to add an extra repeat of the lace to get my measurements. There's a design centered across the middle of the shirt. So I just did 13 boxes on this piece of paper and tried to figure out where I could make it look centered still on the front of the shirt. And I think it's going to work out. I'm going to have five boxes on the, either side, three in the middle. And now, I think I am ready to start my project. I have a sample of the fabric. I have a visual to show me what my target is, where I'm trying to go. And I've even tried out the little detail I'm gonna add. Thanks for joining me and follow if you wanna see more.